do. I do. Nine legendary! Get the heck out of here! Oh my goodness! So I just spooked out a herd of Springbok because there are so many feed zones for Springbok in this area. Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and I'm Lady Legend. Today guys, I'm going to take you on a very special route where I discovered at least 15 feed zones for Springbok. Now Springbok did lose their drink time with the last update, so they no longer drink, so their feed zones have become that much more important. Basically, we have to hunt them in their feeder rest zones and that is it. If you would like to learn exactly where you will be finding feed zones for Springbok, definitely stick around guys. I know exactly where they are. Basically guys, I'm starting down here in the bottom left hand corner of the map. So we're gonna start here at the Nizuti Hollow and basically we're gonna go north northeast and I like to start here at this hunting stand, but I actually have a Springbok feed zone right here. Not only that, but there are some scrub hair feed zones and side striped jackal feed zones out here as well, both of which no longer drink as well. So finding their feed and rest zones are also very, very important. And when you do spook something, don't get too excited. It will more than likely come back. As long as you still have time left in the zone. So this here is a black brown guys, they only come in female and they are not rare, but they are pretty cool looking. So today we are hunting Springbok with the Zarza 223. It's not super strong on them, but it does do the job. 223. Will it do the job? It did it. It did. So that's how long and that's with two shots in it. So the quick kill is not super quick. And splat. That took a minute. We did get a vital shot on the first shot and that is actually a gold 94.9. 110.7 is what we are looking for for diamond. And usually they do have to be a level five, but I would imagine fours can make it, but not very often. So Springbok actually feed here in Verhonga from 4 a.m. all the way to 1400. Now there will be several different feed zone times in that time period. For example, we have one right here from 4 or 4.30 till 8, and then we have another one over here from 8 until 11, and then I would imagine there'd be another one from 11 until 1400. So three different time periods, three different feed zone times within that time. So they back to back feed basically. Now that is only the morning feed time. They feed again in the evening from 21 all the way till 4 a.m. So one of the things I love about Savannah is that you can wander around and you will usually find something feeding somewhere. And look at that, we found a scrub hare. There you go. So this little area is amazing, not only for springbok, but for scrub hare and side striped jackals. All three of those have lost their drink times. So all three of them can only be hunted in their feed and rest zones. So now I believe diamond scrub hare do need to be female. So guys, I believe the main reason why a lot of these species have lost their drink time is to increase performance in the game. But as you run up here, you're gonna find more and more feed zones all the way up, all the way over here. Springbok, Springbok. There are piles of feed zones. So as you can see out here, guys, we do have side striped jackal out here as well. So without them having a drink time now, they are gonna be so much harder to hunt. We're definitely gonna have to figure out where all of their feed and rest zones are. Look at that guys, we just found another feed zone and this is a max weight level 4 Springbok and he has actually diamond potential. 110 is diamond, so we'd have to score right at the top. Probably is not, but boy, he is a big one. Now let's see how long it takes for the Zarza 223 to take this Springbok down. Takes quite a minute. Yep, we did get him. Takes a minute for it to drop in quick kill but we did get a vital shot there. The Zarza 223 will definitely work on Springbok, but it isn't gonna work quickly. Now you can bring the Solikin out and use the Solikin or the 243 on Springbok, but I love the Zarza 223 on side striped jackal and coyotes and raccoons and smaller species like that. I think it's absolutely fantastic. So I'm okay with the Springbok running a little bit. 102.6, so he is a nice one, and that was a vital shot, but not quite big enough. 110.7 is what we're looking for. Man, look how curly his horns are. They almost touch. He's pretty cool. And this is where we are right here, and look at that. Springbok, 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 and more Springbok feed zones. We also have Wildebeest, 
and more Springbok zones. So you will find a pile of them. Just start right down here at this outpost and run northeast. And all those are Springbok guys all the way up here. We have Wildebeest and Scrub Hare out here. And then when you go over to the right, there are more Wildebeest and Scrub Hare zones and some lions. But the Springbok seem to be on this side. They don't seem to be over here, just over here. Are you back for round two? Are ya? Lat! All right, we actually got double lung there because it was only a 34 meter shot. Generally, the 223 isn't gonna get double lung. We have more jackals in here. So I bet you these are jackal rest zones. Let's check. And they are six till 10. We have it. That's a zone for six resting jackals. So once I do find a rest zone for jackals, I think what I'm going to do is check every single track for a max weight. And of course, there are more Springbok coming in. They're just everywhere in this area. I cannot believe it. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go anywhere. Stupid dog. Stupid dog. Too many trees. No. All right, I'll take this one. Turn for me, baby. Ah, oh, the dog is in the way. Oh my god, I'm gonna murder this dog. Seriously. Move! <laughs> and uh, off they go. Okay, so I'm hidden here. Maybe I'll just chill for a moment. Oh, and here comes some jackals back and some springbok. All right, let's test out the 223 on a jackal. Just a female, but let's see how we do here. Yes! Huge difference with the Jackal compared to Springbok. That thing started dying immediately and yeah, the quick kill is much faster on a Jackal. Double lung, only 29 meter shot, but that just decimated that side stripe Jackal. And that's the 223 Zarza. But I'll show you where we are right here. There's where that zone is for side stripe Jackal right here. And Springbok were walking into the forest. I cannot believe the amount of Springbok. So look at the zones, guys. Almost all of these are Springbok. Springbok, Springbok, Springbok. They're all Springbok, just about. I'd say over 90% are Springbok. So when you're in this area, you're not gonna go too far without finding more feeding Springbok. All right, we have a pretty big herd of Springbok out here. Okay, guys, I just found a rest zone for a side stripe jackal, and then I picked up a max weight track. So here's the track. 12 to 14 kilograms, it is a gray-brown, and he has given us a warning call. So let's see if we can't get eyes on him and take him down. I would love for him to be a nine legendary. Probably pretty good chance he's a mythical or even a seven, but he could be, he could be a nine. And park my dog. Park it, buddy. You get in my way. I see him in there, I do, I do. Nine legendary, get the heck out of here. Oh my goodness! I can't see him now. I don't have my collar on me. I can't believe it's a nine, that's insane! I'm so excited. Well, I have his feed zone, so even if he vanishes, we will come back for him. There he is. So crazy, I can't believe I'm looking at that. Stop, stop, stop. That's not an angle. Give me an angle, baby. I don't have a collar, this is so awful. Yes. We got him. I think we got him. I hope we got him. And splat. Oh my goodness, please tell me we got him. I think I see vital blood splatter, do I? Oh no, I, I don't know. Yes, he is a diamond. Oh, I thought maybe I messed him up. That's amazing. I can't believe we just got a diamond side stripe jackal without them having drink zones anymore. That is so amazing. I am in shock. 36 meter shot. Zarza 223 does the job, and that is pretty crazy. Man, they pay pretty well, $1,644. So 29.3, he is 0.2 above diamond. That is amazing. Wow. So tracking is definitely the way to go, guys. 
I picked up the max weight track, started tracking it, hoping I'd find a nine, and I actually did. And this is where we found him. We picked up his rest zone right there and tracked him just right up here. And we are in central Savannah. Down here and hunted our way through all of these Springbok feed zones all the way up here. So you just gotta basically run the map and find your zones and uh, work off of the tracks. If you can't see them, work off of tracks. And there's another Springbok feed zone. They're just all over out here. I just can't even believe it. But that is going to wrap it up for this one, guys. I really hope you did enjoy the video, and I hope you did learn lots. If you did, guys, go ahead and smash that like button. It is super amazing for the algorithm, and I really do appreciate it. Thanks, guys, for that. We'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. All I need to do is find a diamond springbok. Oh, more jackals. They're not as hard to find as I thought.